Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. Don't you get your head out of your face. Do you understand that your liberty endangers my family? They are proud of me that I'm standing up to bullies. Bullies like you. They should be. Hey everybody, we're standing outside of the Space Needle, outside of Como Television, standing in the belly of the beast. Now, the point I like to make is that American history, at least since the Korean War, has been dominated by these media conglomerates. Como is owned by the same people that own King 5, they also own KCPQ, they dominate Seattle media. They dominate Seattle Radio. Who are they? It's Sinclair Media. So I'm standing here with the organizer of today's protest. Of today's protest, is September 11, 2021, and I'm standing with Victoria Palmer, who's protesting. Victoria, what are you guys doing down? Thanks, Matt. We're here today at the Como Plaza to draw attention to the media's role in this pandemic. Kind of just promoting and making the pandemic sound a lot worse than it really is. As a person who is, I'm not an expert, but I hear people walking by and I hear one group of people saying, oh, you're crazy. What are you talking about? And then people saying, I'm a doctor. Thank you. Good, good job, you guys. And people who seem to know better are all in support. But it seems like people who don't know any better um, don't. So what does that have to do with Como and Game 5? Good question, Matt. It's because people are watching the news and the mainstream media has been carrying this story that is highly contagious and dangerous when it has a 99.8% survival rate, even in the older demographics. Okay, but so we got past the and now we're into mandatory um, Is there any evidence? I mean, is there a breakout? Is there some reason that we went from these lockdowns to even more strict draconian measures where now they're saying, if you don't get the you don't live. You, you can't even have a job. Right, man. They're manipulating the numbers, so we're asking people to look at them closely so that this area is, um, they can't even identify it. So they're just labeling it as scare people. Right. Now, one thing that I've always said to myself with my limited knowledge of biology is that when you send somebody, the first thing the virus is going to do is try to survive. It does that by mutating its offspring. And so when you're putting the virus into people, is it not just mutating and then creating billions of more varieties of the virus that will never, ever actually be able to tame if all this stuff is true? I mean, that, that's a likely theory. And um, there's there's much evidence to support the idea that this, you know, was this created in the lab. You know, they seem to be admitting that now. So this all needs to be out in the open and not censored. Okay, Victoria. So before you go, can you talk to us a little bit about what the Seattle Truth Network does? What it's about? Yeah, I'm the organizer of the Seattle Truth Network, and the March for Freedom Washington is our campaign to bring freedom to the entire state of Washington. We are helping people facing a vaccine mandate. We're helping them with legal support and moral support. So please contact me through the website, and we'll help you. Okay. September 18th is the worldwide rally for freedom. We're supporting it. We want everyone to just get out where they are with signs that say reject COVID mandates or no vax mandate. Just get out with neighbors and rally. Um, we also have September 25th, 2 p.m. in Woodenville. We're having a town hall. We're inviting the entire state to join us at Rooster's Bakery at 2 p.m. We're going to blow the lid off of this COVID fraud. Right. Victoria Palmer, she is an American freedom fighter. She's the woman in blue. She's a, she should be like the Seattle Needle. She is a, a an icon for Seattle and a real American hero. Victoria, thank you so much for your time and your dedication. Thank you, Matt. All right. I appreciate it. Freedom fighters. Oh, you are oh, he's so scared. He's spitting hey, all over Jesus, You're shameful.
Jesus, Jesus would get vaccinated. <laughs> Yeah. 